Hello friends, this is Shantanu and welcome to my YouTube channel, The Bloggers Tube. In this video, I am going to talk about search intent. So what exactly is search intent and how as a blogger we should learn and we should handle search intent in our everyday blogging. And this is what I am going to discuss in this video in complete detail. So let's start the video. So first of all, what is search intent? So if I have to little bit let narrate it more, search intent means search intention. So the term itself is saying that what is the intention of a particular search? So that is what we have to understand. Now, just think from a like search engine point of view. Now, these days, everybody, everyone is depending on Google or search engines or any search engines like Bing, Google, whatever. So I'm talking about search engines. So whenever you search something on a search engine, your expectation is to get the highly relevant and accurate result. Otherwise, what will happen? You will lo lose the trust from the search engine. So that's where the intention has come. Now, why why it is so much important? So, for example, let me give you an example of it. Uh, let's say water purifier. So as a beginner, so I need to purchase a water purifier. So I have started my research on the water purifier. So if I search on Google or any search engine with water purifier, so what are the result you are actually expecting? So as I'm in the beginning phase, I'm just started the analysis. So definitely I'm expecting some information article. So if I search for water purifiers, definitely Google will or search engines will show you the in related information. You understand water purifier, different types, blah, 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 blah information. Now, if you search for something like water purifier companies, or you can say specific brands like um, AquaGuard, Eureka Forbes, like uh, you can say, uh, can't so search engines will return you the name of the websites of those companies so that is again a different kind of intention because i don't want to read about water purifier now i want i want to check the websites of companies who want to companies of those websites who actually sell water purifiers my next query could be okay fine i have enough loaded with information and like uh, knowledge now i want to buy some water first or i i want to ch uh, check what are the popular water purifiers or like the best water purifiers available in the market. So now my query will be best water purifiers, let's say under 10,000, 20,000, this kind of query. Now this for this kind of query, again, the results will be totally different. But because now the intention of that search is totally different compared to what exactly the user has searched like water purifiers. So when you are completely ready to buy, you just uh, your next action is you want just wanted to buy a water purifier online. So you will be something, you will type something like water purifier discount or you will be something like water purifier like coupon or buy water purifier online, some, some sort of a discount because your intention is, okay, I am done with all the analysis. Now I want to check online where I can get the maximum discount so that I can complete the purchase. So as a user, we are searching different, different terms with different, different intention. And that is what a search engine has to understand. That is called search in intent. So now as a search engine, it is their responsibility to understand. So that's why they are investing a lot and they are making their search engines better day by day after day. You, you might be noticing that they are updating their algorithm day after day. I'm, I'm talking about Google. So definitely they are doing their part. As a user, it is our responsibility or we are creating lots of keyword, lots of systems daily. Now, the middle thing is what are the responsibility of a blogger or the uh, <coughs> website or content creators. So now our responsibility is to create content on those frameworks. Whenever you are started doing your uh, keyword research, you have to make sure that you know for what kind of search intent you are actually going to write the article. Let's suppose water purifiers. So for example, you have a, a website on water purifiers. Maybe you can create a micro niche website. So in that website, when you write about water, what is water purifier? So your intention should be to educate the user with all the information related to water purifier, what exactly he is, she is looking for. You need not to write some discount or coupon you definitely can refer it, but you should not give much stress. Your entire article should be crafted in such a way that it is educational purpose. You are actually educating them. So this is a one kind of article. The next intent could be, okay, websites. What are the water purifier companies? So you can write a separate article on what are the top 10 water purifier articles. Uh, sorry, what are the top 10 water purifier companies, let's say in India. So definitely you can there list out all those companies. So here you're, you know that the user who has already understood about the water purifiers, they came here to you now find out what are the popular companies here. Definitely you can interlink those articles. 
the next type of articles could be best water purifiers under 10000 20000 25000 best water purifier with let's say some certain features certain features like this filter that filter so this kind of article again it is a information with little bit more buyer conscious then you can definitely write another article okay water purifier discount let's say uh, amazon water purifier deals so this kind of articles so <coughs> so here you have to understand the intent first and accordingly you have to create different different articles it should not be like that you create a one single article and you put all the information then it will be difficult for search engines to understand what kind of content it is definitely we always say that an um, in-depth article is very good but from ranking point of view or users understanding point of view also it is always good to write like totally user intent based articles rather than a generic like epic story or book like that is also a good thing but if you write something let's say ebook or something where you want to put everything else that is again a different content you know, like different types of content writing but when you talk, talk about blogging so it is always better to target certain keywords which is purely identifying that particular user interest or user search intent so this is all about the search intent now if i have to like tell you a little bit uh, let's say theoretically so whatever four types of example i gave you they are something like so first one is informational intent so i already gave you the example like users are searching particular keywords so they want to understand they want to learn about or they want to gain some information about those keywords that is called informational search intent next one is navigational navigation is something like i know about that website that company website but i don't remember their name like url or something so i directly type that for example generally what we do uh, we, are, we rarely type like facebook.com or something okay fine facebook is a very common we are using every day some sort of a website let's say kentaro we don't know what is the url of like kentaro so we'll simply go to um, google and we'll say kentaro website or kentaro or we'll say aquaguard so whenever as soon as we type aquaguard definitely the search result will display you the aquaguard website or the eureka fog website they will not give you the what is water purifier so that is exactly search engines are understanding what intention is user behind the particular search so that is called navigational search this is the second point the third one is commercial intent so what exactly commercial intent so commercial intent is the next step as i said like user is now more interested to explore the good options or good water purifier water purifiers to buy user has already done the basic research they know what are the companies now their intention is to list out the best water purifiers so that is called commercial intent there is a chance to get conversion then the last one is transactional transactional is purely like transaction basis like we all know that these days we in the era of online shopping we can buy anything online right so user is convinced now he has choose uh, the top, the best company and the best model of the particular water purifier so now user is going to buy that water purifier but before that as a like <coughs> common uh, like our common practice we used to try uh, we try to find out whether any best deal is available like any coupon code is available is there or not so this kind of stuff so definitely user is going to look for or search for those kind of terms where he can save some money online and complete the transaction so, so that is called a transactional keyword so <coughs> this is all about search intent or search intention so as a blogger whenever you are doing your keyword research make sure you are picking the keyword with based on certain search intention users search intention if you are into affiliate marketing then search intent plays a very very big role rather than writing let's say best laptops or best water purifiers in india or something best water purifiers in 2019 or 2020 it is good to target even much more longer versions like best water purifiers with xyz feature under let's say 15000 under 20000 so this kind of things will narrow down the search and narrow down the intention and it will help you to improve more conversion at the same time it is not always good to only write about this kind of stuff so you can write also informational commercial intent and transactional so so try to make a useful website where user will definitely get some information you will educate the user as well as you will help the user to buy the product as well so this is called a complete full cycle so i'm sure um, i'm able to explain the term called search intent uh, with some examples uh, in simple language um, if you think that uh, this video is useful you have uh, uh, understood the topic after watching this video or you have learned something then don't forget to like this video also share this video with your friends in your social circles and 
if you are really uh, finding my youtube channel useful then i would request you uh, to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon because if you don't hit the bell icon then uh, whenever i will come up with the next video that notification will not reach to you so uh, till the next video um, take care and goodbye